hello on day seven of vlogmas already a week in days has gone by wow um, time flies and time crawls at the same time i just got my hair cut we are going for something different i'm gonna try and grow out my curls on top of this and gradually make them grow longer we'll, we'll see how far we're gonna get I think it will stay with short sides and short neck, but on top it will get a bit more curly. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I am definitely enjoying my new hairdresser, so very good, very good. Um, she really takes her time instead of only having 30 minutes and it has to be done in that time frame and uh, she'll just cut faster. She really goes slow and yeah, just one person alone. Sorry, um, I kicked the tripod and um, not almost never extra people in her uh, beauty salon or hairdresser salon. Oh, beans. You got in a fight with your sister. You got scratches on top of your head. Yes. Oh, gosh. He actually had a, f a fight with his dad yesterday, who has now a scratch on his nose because things wanted to get away really, really quickly. And did that over his face and he. Uh, back lag hit his nose. So Robert is now proud owner of a scratch over his nose that definitely was bleeding a lot, he said. So yeah, focus on the advents. Uh, Robert got in his beer a Bayern Stefana Hefeweiss beer. And this is a beer we both already know. I'm not sure if we really drunk it. I think we, we must have had one. Um, but we can just buy this at the local store <laughs> uh, on the other side of the bur uh, border. Um, but nonetheless, it's a nice beer and it's something totally different than what we've had so far, a Hefeweizen. And um, yeah, that's also nice. Then we have here a big house today. Santa loves a treat. Revel in the warm embrace of the ritual of out foaming shower gel with out and patchouli for silky smooth and fragranced skin sorry for that noise i was trying to shake it out that wasn't the best noise for you probably um here it is black bottle ritual of out with out and patchouli foaming shower gels and i really like those foaming shower gels so that's definitely one that i'm going to use and it smells really nice as well. For the fiber advent, I picked up a white Lindor ball with mango. Oh, hello, back again. Okay, back again. Hi. Don't show your bit. That's not okay. You know I don't like that. Thank you. I didn't pick a tea or a drink. I just opened a bag of tea from my crowd farming uh, well, experiment. First time I joined crowd farming, it, it was for green tea from the Renegade in Georgia. And um, yeah, drinking that now. I think it was the green elf or the alphabet tea. It's a green tea. really taste that. Um, I compared it with my green velvet tea I have and they put on what the process is, how many minutes and how hot and everything uh, for their processing of the tea. And this tea is also roasted and the green velvet is not. Um, that's more like a white tea I think. And the green, uh, this, this uh, alphabet tea that's just the name. 
alphabet. Um, I think the rest I can't make up because it's the Georgian alphabet. <laughs> it's just like Greek. It has a re very interesting uh, look, uh, but definitely can't read it. Um, and it tastes really nice. And if you don't know crowd farming, um, it's a very interesting concept. Um, you adopt a plot of something, uh, which can be uh, a rice patty, which I did this morning, and also a garlic plot, which I also did this morning, a black garlic plot in France, and the rice patty is in Spain, but also your own tea bush and um, that is something I'm going to renew. I'm just contemplating which one to take. If I'm going to go with the same green or if I'm going to get something else this time. Um, just have to see. But I really like the concept of the crowd farming. It's like uh, a Kickstarter, but then uh, yeah, you just adopt your little bush of tea and you get the tea from it. Well, you get the tea from all the bushes combined and they don't really do that. I, I can see it like maybe some sheep and having wool and that you can really get the wool from your sheep that you adopted. Not sure if they really do that. Um, for me, there was no sheep or wool option, just sheep cheese, which I can't have. Shame. Um, it's also olive oil. You can get boxes of oranges, mangoes, avocados, sweet potato. Um, it's a very interesting concept and I put the link to crowd farming in the description box below. The fiber I got today is a multicolor. Look at that rainbow in a bit of fiber. Always nice. And uh, yeah, so chocolate, my tea explained, and fiber. And then we go to Walnut Verka, bright and quirky. We have very, very orange with a bit of red. I love it. This is my, definitely my color. I mean, it fits my lipstick. Yes, perfect. And um, really loving this one. Um, yeah, I recorded two clips earlier, very small clips. Um, I'm showing off the uh, thing I got for my mother-in-law. A um, little while ago, I was de-stashing all the yarn balls we had. Um, she made the yarn balls. I sold them in the shop. Um, I had them on Etsy, but mostly I had them on markets. Uh, but since we haven't done any markets in two years and the markets I have done, I didn't take them because traveling with yarn balls over the pond to the UK, not a good idea. Way and way too heavy. Also, I don't really like shipping them um, from the shop perspective because, well, they are fragile and they are unique. So the risk is just so big that it stresses me out big time. And um, yeah, I'm happy that uh, and everyone was so enthusiastic when I put them in my Instagram stories. Like, um, hi, it's either going today to anyone who wants to pay the shipping and maybe a little extra for my mother-in-law uh, or this is going to the bin. None of them went into the bin <laughs> and they all went to lovely houses and um, with the money I got from the people who paid a little extra on top of the shipping I managed to get that thing. <laughs> it's an owl with uh, bird food and you can actually just buy new bird food and put it on again so um, on my way to the hairdresser I ran into my mother-in-law with that thing in my bike bag and I was like yeah I was just going to you and she said yeah I was just going to your mom and um, yeah so she got it <laughs> I deliver it to her front door and um, yeah, she really liked it. She liked it way better than a bouquet, she said. This was just awesome. And um, she'll have a longer lasting fun of this than of a bouquet, in my opinion. 
and uh, yeah so thank you to everyone who helped out getting that um, I am happy to have space she is happy to have that thing and you all who got a yarn ball are happy with your yarn ball or at least I hope that and um, yeah and also a little clip of the yarn that came in 10 kilograms of yarn yay I can die again and I will start dyeing tomorrow probably and dye new base a uh, new batch of razzle dazzle because it's already sold out and yeah I guess we're already through for today then nothing to say how are you doing drop me a comment here on YouTube um, yeah I'd like to know are you enjoying vlogmas are you enjoying others on vlogmas uh, do I really need to check out more people on vlogmas I'm following a few and I really have a hard time staying uh, up to date because um, it's a lot lots of people are doing vlogmas this year so um, it's fun, definitely, but uh, yeah, Whew, it's quiet today, that's nice, he'll start again tonight, I'm sure, but for now, I'm enjoying the quiet day I have, um, just the hairdresser is enough, yeah, like I said, I don't have much else to say, and it's long enough, so, oh, I can add one more thing, forgetting that um, we went to the mill on a Saturday and I made a clip of driving there in the mill outside of the mill and uh, driving back we took a different route so I thought it would be fun driving you around the uh, Enschedeze and Lonaker uh, countryside and um, a little view inside the mill I wasn't allowed or I was allowed to film I wasn't allowed to film the ladies who were working, so um, you only see a half of the space. The other half, the ladies were working and she said, I can duck if you want to film this side. And I was like, no, I'll just film the little shop part. It was a bit empty. Um, she said um, on Wednesday, we were there on Saturday, they opened twice a week. On Wednesday, it was um, fill full and lots of people came and bought stuff, probably for Santa Claus. Um, their pancake mixture is a very big hit on Santa Claus and on Christmas uh, hampers from companies to their employees. And so they were really busy and I was like, I'm not going to say please duck or move away uh, for me to film that. I just filmed the little shop part and that was enough. You can get an idea of how the mill looks on the inside. So um, I'm going to add that clip as well. And with that, I will just say, see you tomorrow, because now I have a lot of editing to do. Bye-bye. <laughs> For those who have supported me <laughs> when destashing all the yarn balls, I got this for my mother-in-law instead of a bouquet of flowers. I thought it would be more fun. She loves owls, or she used to, I don't know. Uh, that's the thing. When you say you love something, you will get that for the rest of your life, even though you don't like it anymore. <laughs> but this you can just put outside, feed the birds, or feed Delia. Delia will just stay here, but she has to inspect everything. Has to be sniffled. Good thing it's not Binks. Binks would have eaten the plastic by now. She just sniffs it. So yeah, I thought it would be cute to show you and thank you again to everyone who uh, got a yarn ball and paid a little extra because that made it possible for me to buy this yay yarn delivery day so i have the dk base back i have dk minis and i have sock weight minis so bring it on 